Hey folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Man's channel. Welcome back to my shop. So what I've been doing in uh, what I'm going to do in this video is just show you a little bit of, of how I've been, uh, you know, thinking of a way to raise and lower the feed wheels on the router feeder. Uh, you know, the and the way it's normally done is, you know, if you look at your planer, you know, the planer has a feed deck that moves up and down. You know, the head is stationary. The the feed deck moves up and down. The way they accomplish this is is to have four post uh, you know on, on either corner and then what they have is a piece of rod that runs down through and then there would have be a bushing on the top and a bushing on the bottom and then you'd have your handle hooked to one of these posts and the way they connect them together is to have a little sprocket on each corner or on each uh, piece of rod and then a chain that connects them so when you turn the one shaft um, that would cause, you know, your feed deck would be hooked to this plane similar to if it was hooked into this where these little, where the nuts are. So when you turned it, they, all the, all the shafts are going to turn, but the nut's going to stay stationary, of course, because it's going to be hooked into the, the planer deck. And what that would do is when you turned it, then it would either raise it or lower it. So you can see if I hold that nut steady, then what it's going to do is it's going to raise it. And then if I reverse it, it would reverse it. So, um, so this is the way I plan on doing the planer deck. So rather than, and this is just a, something that I just stuck together, folks. It's not actually what I'm going to use, but it's just to mock it up to get a feel for if this would actually work. And I could see this having, you know, being real cheap to do and, uh, and actually being pretty quick, too, because it's nothing to buzz these little, uh, now that I've got the template, I can just buzz them out in a second. And then, you know, bolts and nuts are easy to get a hold of, so that's going to cure the problem of uh, everybody getting a hold of the parts to be able to do this and you know most of us have a computer if you're watching this video and got a printer so you'll be able to get that uh, computer program from Matthias Wandel and you'll be able to print out your gears and then uh, you know be able to get the same thing working so there's how the concept of how I'm going to get it raising and lowering uh, here and you know this is going to work out pretty slick too because I plan on building a drum sander a little later on just a small version something to do you know narrow pieces I don't I've got a big one but I've got lots and lots and lots of little short you know two foot by six inch wide chunks of uh, of uh, sandpaper around here and I just like to make a miniature version because I, I like to sand all my little pieces so this will work for that too and you know it didn't wouldn't matter how wide this was I could just make this gear uh, bigger in the center and then I could you know as I can just as long as I get onto one or I could put a small gear off to the side and that's what my handle would be on as long as I mesh into this this gear somewhere then everything will turn together like it is right now oh so kind of a neat little neat little uh, uh, way of doing things and uh, you know it should be it's going to be inexpensive this will be the cheapest way to get the same thing happening so hopefully you guys are having fun keep tuning in you're going to see more of this come together as time goes on we're just kind of working out the methods uh, to be able to do it and uh, once this is all figured out we're going to get it together so now the next thing to figure out is how to get it spring loaded because these little wheels have to be spring loaded too so you guys keep tuning in and hopefully you like this video and I thank you for watching